Hey guys, here with Treasure Hunters Re Reform on Korean Lost Saga. So let's check it out here. Uh, first things first, you dash a little bit faster. Pretty nice there. You can also dash through people if that wasn't uh, abundantly clear from me dashing through him. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much standard range character kind of changes to the reform here. Uh, so moving on, your basics. Your basics move you forward a little bit more now. Your third hit will do more damage. And it will knock back a little bit farther as well. Also, on top of this, you can actually lift off your faint status as well now with your basics, so uh, you don't have to just waste a bullet. You can actually edge with that pretty easily now with that long knockback, so pretty convenient there. Uh, so now to the really good stuff about Treasure Hunter's Reform, your shots. So now you have six bullets instead of five, so uh, you can actually faint with the appropriate number, number of bullets now. So you have more range on your shots, so max range is probably right here, I would say. Yes, that's on the button right there. So uh, you can actually, you know, still faint. Uh, you'll do more damage, and you'll have more range behind it as well. And you have six bullets to work with. Also, um, you can actually knock back a little bit better out of the air with your shots. So if you put, like, your torch down or something, and then you shoot shoot with it, shoot your gun, you'll have a little bit of extra knockback with the airborne uh, shots there. So pretty nice there. And the reload speed, I don't know if the reload speed's changed much. If it has, it's not really that clear, but it is It is pretty fast. It's pretty fast. I don't think they changed much with that, if anything. So moving on, your jump attack shots. Uh, these lock on a little bit better now, so you won't completely whiff all the time. So that's a really nice change there uh, to that jump, -a -shot, jump shot. It has a little bit more range to it as well, and a little bit more damage as well, just like your normal shots. So... Really nice with the jump attack there. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. And you still have like the air reload, <laughs> which hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, so moving on, other things you got on Treasure Hunter, you now have some defensive capabilities. Uh, you used to have, you know, uh, your your gears served as your defensives, uh, but now you have. Da -da -da -da, uh, I'm not getting it though. <laughs> Let's see. Now you have a deflect on Treasure Hunter, so really nice having a range character with a deflect uh, capability so really convenient there and your weapon skill your weapon skill now activates a little quicker and it knocks back just a little bit farther so really nice quick uh, activation to that there so let's go ahead and do it on the torch here a nice knockback to it nice knockback not really drastic but pretty fair pretty fair and quick activation so really nice so overall, uh, my old main here uh, has actually got some pretty nice stuff to it now. You know, the damage increases, the extra bullet, um, being able to, you know, roll uh, through people. Let's check and see if you can roll out of reload. Uh, you can't roll out of reload like other characters, so you're still stuck doing that, so beware. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the quick lock on on jump attack, that's a pretty big deal as well. Um, Treasure Hunter's always had problems hitting people with his jump attack in the air as long if they've been moving, so that's going to help him pretty drastically right there. And of course, you know, the you know, the, you know, the minor changes to the basics there, the nice little knockback and being able to lift off fainted, that's a pretty big deal as well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it for Treasure Hunter's re-reform, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.